Hey, missed Thursday's show? Here's the <laughs> RE cap, presented by Honda. Kyle Lowry, who had 23 points and nine assists, and he was playing all out. So there's a loose ball, and he dives for it, and he winds up in the crowd, and a fan pushes him and barks at him. The fan is named Mark Stevens, and he is a minority owner of the Warriors. There's no place for that. You know, he had no reason to touch me. He had no reason to reach over two seats and then say some vulgar language to me. There's no place for people like that in our, in our league. You know, hopefully he never goes, comes back to an NBA game. What's he thinking? I know you're into the game. I mean, how do you lose your head like that? Unbelievable. It's unbelievable for anybody to be that dumb, and yet for somebody who's a part owner? You think the NBA would shove the, the seats back? No. Just a wee no. bit here? No. Why? I mean, because one unreal to one irresponsible moron does this? No, and they shouldn't. The intimacy, the relationship between the fans and the NBA game and the players is a great part of the passion of basketball. It's like this hollering over Drake. It's like, shut up. <laughs> That's part of the entertainment. Spike Lee and Reggie Miller giving each other the show sign. That is part of the entertainment that sets the NBA apart. And the faces that we see there, the famous faces we often see, that's part and parcel of professional basketball worldwide. So, no, they don't need to move any fan base back. They need to move this guy out. Who's the best competitor you ever played with? It's Abby. Hands down. You don't stutter, huh? Yeah. Just because she has this mentality that no one else brings to the game like she loves the pressure but she's just the triple threat she's so good in the air she's a great leader she can finish you know with her feet or her head she's just um someone you want on your team we had such a connection on the field and new signs you know because you can't really hear yourself talking in a world cup it's so loud so you have to just be aware of body language she just brought so much energy and the energy is contagious you know especially in moments when people are fearful of the unknown of uh, making mistakes abby is right there um to secure them. We had Alex Bregman here in studio. He's just awesome. That kid is really something else. He's our brash bravado, every every word you can think of about that machismo that comes with great players. I've never met someone who loves baseball as much as Alex Bregman. And I, I've been around a lot of baseball people in my life. He's got some youthfulness to him, yet he's got a mature approach when it comes to you know preparing, competing in the batter's box. He's easy to manage because you can push him and and you can coach him hard and, and get on him, and he's going to respond favorably. And, and I'll, I'll forever be grateful that you know, our career paths have, have crossed because he's one of a kind. For more Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Rich Eisen Show app.